Let's try to look into the future for five minutes with five balls. Um, first of all, let's hope that we do not end up in this stiff body position, staring on screens. <laughs> but move. Move or think about how we can bring the right momentum in our complex environment. Complexity, digitalization, big data, the blockchain. <laughs> All these terms and much more are buzzing around our heads when we think about the future. <laughs> How will we work in the future? Will we work more or less? Or will we work more or less in virtual realities? <laughs> if we can get support from machines and robots, can we use our free resources to protect our natural resources? Or will we just end up between a flood of emails, constant availability? in an illusion of productivity, in a world which turns faster and faster and faster, controlled by mass surveillance. <laughs> Hopefully, we can find better perspectives. Can we find a perspective which is more holistic, which integrates mind, heart and soul? Can we connect mind, heart and soul in a creative or intelligent way? Will we be able to cooperate globally also in messy situations? Can we pass the balls between each other also across borders? <laughs> it's easy for me, but... Um, how do I can get out of this trick now? <laughs> uh, so, where do we find the answers to all of these questions? Maybe in the circle, or under the shower, or in the number of P, or is the answer just for two? Maybe artificial intelligence has the answer. Mm. By the way, I like the intelligence of my body. When I'm doing stuff like this, my eyes are keeping track of the balls, commuting, communicating somehow through my nerves with my hands and my brain and vice versa. All this is happening while I can speak to you in a language which is not my first language. And I can try this also even standing on one foot. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be a cool job from my buddy, thanks. Um, um, yeah, but maybe transhumanism will bring us some kind of superhuman skills, some kind of super reflexes in the future. Or, <laughs> or maybe we will end up all reali realizing that we have lost our natural abilities, our, our natural reflexes. Who knows, maybe we end up all with software in our bodies and uh, and suddenly uh, suddenly uh, a software error takes over <laughs> control uh, uh, so uh, yeah many questions many balls to handle a friend of me once described juggling with two words Precise fragility. Juggling is a precise but complex, a precise but fragile pattern. When one ball bumps into the other, this might lead to a chain reaction and the whole system can collapse. Whew, hopefully, it won't. <laughs> ah. 
So, of course, juggling is a very old discipline, but it uh, develops a lot. And, um, of course, the technological progress does not even stop at juggling. <laughs>